Well, we've got the first uh, load coming into the hammer mill. Uh, looks like we've got the stone about where we need it. Might need to bring it back a little bit. Might need to bring that stone back a little bit more. Push this hopper over some. All right, we're fired up. This will be the first bit of corn going through the hammer mill here. We'll go ahead and check on the actual process of this. Got a nice calm day today. Usually the wind is blowing pretty good. And it likes to get everything all, all this dust all over everything. It's grinding it up fine enough. It's not warm at all. Um, if it starts to warm up, we'll have to put a larger uh, screen in there. Like I was saying in the last video, the finer you can get it ground up, the better. So we can get oh, a couple loads here before we have to push it up. It's handy uh, having it on a higher level than the bunk that you're putting it in. Some guys don't have that option. They have to run this kind of in the corner of their bunk and kind of push the pile away from the unit all the while while they're uh, grinding corn. So I'm going to run along now to the combine, and today will be the first full day of combine of corn. We only did this one load last night. We wanted to make sure everything was going to run right. I wanted to be here when the first bit of corn went through, just to make sure it was processing it correctly. And if they had any problems with changing screens and whatever, I wanted to be able to get my hand uh, getting the screens in and out. So it looks like that's going to do what it's supposed to do here. It's not warm at all, so we can run the uh, screen that we're running here. It looks like it's having a little trouble coming out of that spout up there. We might have to flip that little square extension up some. That auger almost needs to come over a little bit. And I don't know if we can adjust that or not.
we're down to the last four rows in this second strip. We started on that field over there to our right. You can just about see the trucks parked on the side of the road. And we have done uh, five loads here so far on these two uh, small strips. We've got a little bit of mud that we're dealing with here. And we're able to put these trucks at a pretty good spot although they are on the side of the road um, for the most part they're in the field and a pretty good landing there and a pretty good spot to load the trucks we've got another little uh, spot that we can set up a landing over there where my pickup truck is however we need to go off the road here a little ways and we've got three strips to work on and Sarah's not going to be able to keep up to uh, the combine because she's going to have to travel a little bit of distance. So Andrew's heading over here with the dump wagon and we're going to use uh, the dump wagon to shuttle some corn to the trucks as well. We have not done that before. Uh, we have just primarily used the uh, grain buggy. Um, some guys do use a dump wagon. I know my uncle does. There's another neighbor that's got dump wagons just like ours. And that's what they use in place of a grain buggy here. So Andrew will be here in a little while. And we'll show you what that looks like as far as um, the combine dumping onto the, unloading onto the grain buggy or onto the, um, dump wagon the dump wagons are turned the wrong way so we've got to be careful when he goes to pull in underneath the auger so um, he'll be here in a little bit all right Andrew has just got into the field here and I just wanted to make sure this damn dump wagon was clean we don't need uh oh got a little water in it we don't need um, a half a skid steer bucket load of corn silage dumping into uh, the high moisture corn. Uh, that'll plug up the roller mill screens. So we're pretty well clean there. We're on a side hill. All right, put that down. We're on a pretty good side hill here. Um, I didn't quite make it once around. I was going up the other side there and um, I couldn't make it. I ended up spinning out, so I had to come up this lower side. And we're pulled over into this hay strip here right now. I am loaded, I've got a full bin on. And um, as you can see, this, this dump wagon's kind of faced the wrong way, but it's, it's not too bad. Um, if it was facing the other way, uh, in other words, if it was turned around, uh, we'd be able to uh, successfully drive alongside. We have talked about putting a drawbar. All you'd have to do is turn the drawbar around, put the drawbar out the back, flip your hoses around, and um, get it to dump uh, the other way. When you're driving alongside, when you're driving alongside the chopper, it's easier for the guy running the dump wagon if he's on the left side of the chopper. We've kind of talked about that before. So this is the first time that we have used uh, the dump wagon to uh, shuttle grain to the trucks here. So we're about a half a mile up the road and Sarah's not going to be able to keep up with just the uh, grain buggy. So we'll utilize these two units here and get these strips done. And then we'll be able to work a little closer, a little bit closer in proximity, that is, to the trucks. So we have about half of the combine unloaded here. And once we get him, once we get empty, we'll send him on his way and he can dump onto uh, the truck.
that side hill field there where the wow there's strips there's three strips on the side hill and then we had the truck staged down here next to the first field that we started with for the year and this is where Andrew and Sarah have been dumping the dump wagon and the grain buggy onto now we have some strips right on the right hand side of the road we are in Lafayette right now right off of route 20 and we're gonna be well the strips that we are on they ran perpendicular to route 81 now we're gonna be parallel to 81 across from the burn dairy and the uh, McDonald's um, that are right that's right off of 81 there so uh, we've got like 11 or 12 acres over here to the right and we've got a small piece on the other side of 20 and then another field uh, beyond that I don't know if we'll get that much done here tonight or not but we had some mud to contend with in this one field here right next to the road and there was another spot I believe in behind uh, Andrew as well uh, was there a spot in behind him or is it behind us either or um, it was a little soft in there so we'll get over into this other field here and uh, we'll get after that Just a little bit left here. Sarah just came back over to the combine. She had a little bit left on, and I was loaded. I had to get unloaded so that I could finish this field. They had trouble with the hammer mill back at the bunk. This corn is a little wetter than what we started with, and that 516th screen that we started with was too small, and they had to jump up screen size so they're back going again at a pretty good uh, rate of getting things unloaded however we got ahead of them and we've been waiting for trucks Andrew's out alongside the road waiting for a truck to get here and as soon as that truck gets here with what Sarah has on and what Andrew has on is gonna load that truck so all I care about doing is getting this field here done because I've only got like 12 or 16 rows here left and this is where where we're gonna quit for the night and this is where we might as well sign off from the video here so uh, everything has been going rather smoothly here so far I shouldn't say that I jinx myself but we've got a long road ahead of us we have a thousand fifty acres of high moisture corn here to do and we are slowly but surely uh, working at that number here right now so we're supposed to get a little rain shower here tomorrow that might shut us down for a while but we were able to get a good whack at this today and um we're just gonna have to keep at her here so that's gonna do it for this video folks i want to thank you for watching and we will catch it the next one.